morning, uh, on paper today, you know, the, obviously the flow still remains on that one private parcel. It has uh, advanced, uh, again, through the night about 90 yards. It's currently about 270 yards from the full front to the Paul Village Road. And uh, once again, through the night, we saw inconsistent um, advancement rates, but overall averaging maybe 5 to 10 yards an hour. Uh, as I mentioned, it's about 270 yards from the Paul Village Road. Uh, this morning, well, yesterday, I think for those that were in the area, they saw a large uh, plume of black smoke because as it was moving through that one property, there were different materials there that were obviously involved with the uh, contact with the flow and caught fire. Uh, there was a, a pile of tires. So as the flow continues to move through, you know, residential areas or areas of development, we're going to see different types of items or materials being involved in the fire. If there's any indication that there's health hazards or health issues, we would put out additional advisories. We're also monitoring the weather conditions just because of that, to see what the wind patterns will be like, where the boom of any uh, fire would be dispersing over the community so we can keep them in form. As you can imagine, we're very concerned as they move into some of the areas because we've got schools nearby with, with children that may be vulnerable, as well as some of our seniors who may have existing health problems. So we're tracking that uh, closely. Above that private property that the flow front is currently on, there are two additional breakouts, one moving in a more northerly direction, one moving to the south. The breakout on the south, uh, which also has the uh, somewhat of an eastern turn to it, uh, it's actually moving in a direction towards that one structure we keep referring to that's on the very top of the, the uh fence line there that's on the same property where we had the uh, utility farm building on it caught fire yesterday morning. So this is the actual residence on that property that's uh, in question. The active flow front there is moving very, very slowly, but it is um, active with, you know, red lava on the edge and was about 100 or 100 or so feet from the structure itself. The other lobe or breakout that's to the north was moving in uh, some forested area along the fence line of the property and also would likely be expected to turn eastward and come down. Further behind, above Apollo Street, we also have some breakouts there, nothing posing any immediate risk to any um, infrastructure or property. We're watching that and flying over. Again, that's part of the purpose of our flights every day and multiple times through the day is to maintain situational awareness of what's happening with the flow, not just at the front, but even behind, because we, we need to ensure that we're aware of any changes in the back of the front that could affect uh, any affect other areas of the community. And HBO has been just a, a wonderful support and yeah. asset for us because their personnel have been on the ground 24-7 for the last, uh, I can't even count how many days, but monitoring the behavior of the flow and its track impact. Uh, so that's pretty much it for me. If you have any questions for me at this time.